How you guys? Look fuck here, and welcome back to the FIFA 18 player review. And today, we're the 84-rated Porto inform striker Vincent Abubakar. He did cost me 37,000 coins, and in the five games that I did play with him, he scored me four goals and got me two assists. And he does have a three-star weak force and five-star skill moves. And getting off into his in-game stats, his main standout stats are his 88 shot power, his 88 heading accuracy, as well as his 88 strength and his 87 ball control. Some very nice stats for this card. And uh, 37,000 coins. I would have thought he would have increased. A little bit to maybe 50,000 coins, which is still a reasonable price for this card. Or there is still the potential that he decreased. The market's so weird this year, um, you know. But anyway, it's an absolutely fantastic card. Insane stats and... Uh, He's just awesome to use in FIFA. You know, don't get me wrong. You know, he's not a Hernan Crespo. He's not a Timo Werner who I use in my main attack. But for the coins he costs, he's very good indeed. And um, let's just get off into his pro. So his first pro is going to be his finishing. Fantastic finishing stats. Interestingly, only 83 finishing. He's such a deadly striker for Porto, or at least the way Commentator is going about him. So I thought his finishing stats would have been better. You know, 83 finishing is still good, but I expected in the Simphone card, like 87, 88 finishing. It doesn't matter though, because his finishing in games is absolutely fantastic. For Nest shots in particular, were brilliant with this card. Inside the box, he's very good as well. I don't think he scored a long range shot. However, he certainly was able to trouble the keeper on a few occasions with his long shots. The 88 shot power, as well as his 86 long shots, certainly could come in handy for you when using this card his second pro is going to be his uh, his passing his passing stats were obviously very nice as well which is quite surprising because i only know him to really play as a striker for porto uh i don't watch porto week in week out but that's the position I think he usually plays in, or like his natural position. Maybe for Cameroon, he plays more of a centre uh, center forward or cam roll, but his passing stats are very good, and you could if you really wanted to use him at camp personally. I would recommend playing him as a centre forward behind a, a very quick striker, or maybe even in partnership with, uh, like a, with a striker like I did with Crespo, but uh, 87 short passing and 80 long passing is very nice indeed. 67 crossing, he actually did get me an assist with a cross, I do believe. Um, so I thought his crossing stat was fine, although you're not going to be crossing too often with this card also 85 vision is very nice he's gonna be able to pick out passes whether that be through balls whether that be long passes he's gonna be able to do which is obviously very nice to do uh, his final pro is going to be his strength. He is at the height of six foot, which is, you know, a, a decent height. He's going to be uh, dangerous potentially in the air as he does have 88 heading accuracy. That could obviously come in useful. But the 88 strength is very nice though indeed. And being able to kind of defend off players, using it as a way to regain position of the ball as well was certainly something that he could do with that strength. For 81 aggression, I see it personally as a useless stat. Uh, so I wouldn't look into that, but even though, you know, 81 aggression is still good if it does actually play a part. But 88 strength was brilliant. 88 heading accuracy was also very nice as well. In general, just a very nice card. I do want to quickly touch on his dribbling. 82 agility felt very nice. His 69 balance could potentially put some people off, but for me, I didn't even notice it at all. I was actually very surprised when I went into his in-games and saw that his balance was actually that low, because for me, it I did not notice it whatsoever. And I've got the finisher chemistry style on, which increases his shooting and his physical um I thought actually would have increased his dribbling, but it didn't. So, yeah, honestly, his balance, I didn't see as much of an issue, to be quite honest, um, at all. So, honestly, I would recommend buying this card, even if you can't play him in your first 11, and you're looking maybe for super subs, or you're looking for a second squad or whatever, or for foot champs. I think he's somebody that you can certainly consider. He is got ridiculous stats he doesn't cost that much i i'm pretty sure that everyone watching this video could afford him even by having to sell some players potentially but a very reasonable price a very good player yes he's probably going to get a team this season so you maybe could hold off for a couple more months but this 84 razor card is absolutely brilliant and in my opinion worth the coins but anyway guys that's going to finish off this player review thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys later